Of course I gave a clickbait for the barbecue tenant over here. Now, let me show you why I made a video on this, something a little small that uh, I've had for a little while, but I got my 705 here with my W2HVH case, fired up the laptop, did some updates, whatever, and tested out this setup on FT8 as I do at 10 watts to use FT8 as a antenna uh, diagnostic tool. It looks like it's covering half of the United States. Let me show you, and I got my ABR Industries Ham Radio Concepts Orange cable here. Um, Super Flex or whatever they use here. What is this? This is uh, uh, foil RG8X Foil Plus braid. And here's what I have here. This was just for fun. This is my Traeger. <laughs> The, all this quit, right? So what I do is I ripped, I gotta finish ripping that off. But I use this as just simply a smoker. So I, I open this and put wood in there and, and uh, some charcoal and stuff and smoke stuff all day. But here's what I have here. It's the Chameleon Jaw Mount. Now, I've had this in a bag for some time. The Chameleon Jaw Mount will pretty much allow you to deploy an antenna on anything that you can fit this jaw on, whether it be a, a railing, a, um, a, 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 a a stick or a tree that happens to be, you know, in a, in a, in a sense of, I mean, you could do it this way. You could do it this way. I'll show you right now. I have the Chameleon Cha Hybrid uh, Onion or, you know, Micro, Cha Micro here with the Chameleon Telescopic Whip here. And this thing is actually pretty long, man. Look at that. That thing goes way up there. Um, this was what they were shipping with the chameleon as they got rid of the, or the, you know, they stopped or at some point during COVID, they started making these instead of the, the cha, um, you know, military kind of foldable pole that had the shot cords in between. And I have that still, but then they, they shipped this out. The cool thing about this is it's, it's telescopic. So if you needed to trim the SWR, people don't know this, right? This is pretty much decent across all the bands with no tuner needed. But if you need to really tune this, you could just kind of look, whoop, you know, adjust it a little bit, go up or down with an analyzer or your radio to see exactly what this thing's doing. Right now, this is all the way up because I was only at about a 1.6 to one on 20 meters. 15 is flat, 10's not bad, uh, 17's really good. And let me take this off real quick and show you how this easy little jaw mount works all right so here's the jaw mount right we're going to loosen this you just unscrew this and it opens the jaw and i'll show you this on the table real quick doing this one-handed using the cell phone today not the camera all right now this jaw mount as you see it comes with where's that allen wrench here it is okay so this Allen wrench comes with, it's a very simple device, but it's actually crafty to put in my go bag with all my antennas. I've had this for a couple of years, just never showed it or used it. So this right here, if you, if you loosen these two here, you can see that's how you flip this 90 degrees. So if you needed to use it this way, you know, see this, this right here, you could use this with a ham stick. You could use this with a cha micro. You could use this with anything. And it also comes with the, um, 3 8 24 like nuts is here on the bottom okay so let me actually go over here and i'll grab this piece and show you what i'm talking about okay now this and <laughs> this has been beat to hell i mean i've weeded it around this when i had it set up but basically th this design is like this you could take this unit go through one-handed right put the washer and then use this as a nut on the bottom or you can get a uh, SO239 to 3 24 male. Put this in, have your SO239 on the bottom, put this on the top. Now you can use a ham stick. Or you could use a telescopic whip like I have without using this. I'm just using this because this is what I have available that would, would work on this. A lot of combinations of possibilities, but this thing's pretty cool, man. Uh, just simply taking this anywhere. If, if I wanted to, really, if I, here, if I wanted to use this on my, like this, whoa, it's a wasp. Holy cow, you got that on film. That wasp was on my hand. Okay, let's try this again. 
Are you laughing over there? <laughs> All right. So I, <laughs> that thing was on my hand. He was right on the back of that pole. All right, now watch. Watch this. Boom. Okay. Now, I am somewhat on this baby gate. Okay. Then I could take this, loosen this. Let's see. One, two. Go like this, right? Tighten that up. All right. Then I could take something like this right on here. Put the nut on the bottom. Boom. I got a... I got a uh, cha antenna right here on the side of my baby gate. I mean, it's that simple. It's pretty cool. This mount um, is very versatile. It's small. And, um, you know, I, I can't say too much more about it. I mean, uh, if I wanted to, what else could I do it on? Well, I'm not sure. I mean, I could find something to clip this thing off. If I really had to. I might even be able to go on the, the side of the hot tub here and clamp it onto the concrete if I opened it wide enough. Put the antenna right there to sit in a jacuzzi and operate hf so like this see you get the idea pretty neat stuff so this is a quick video because i pulled it out of the shed and uh used it today now also what you want to know is i took this little counterpoise wire and i had it clipped on there you know because uh, normally the spike for that Cha hybrid has a little spot screw for a counterpoise. So I had it clipped on here, but you could do that any different way. So there you go, guys. This wasp obviously is not happy with me. But yeah, if you want to stick it on a Traeger like this, let me do this one-handed. Boom, look at that. All right? And then... Allen wrench, loosen this up, one, two, three, boom, you put this on with your bolt, you take your, your mast here, your stainless steel, boom, you put that on top and away you go. So for portable operations, guys, that is something that is really handy to have, the cha jaw mount from Chameleon Antennas. Now this wasp is pissed. All right, I got to go.